Gary Tiemann is the founder of a new website. It uses some really fascinating technology to bust people breaking the law on Airbnb. And after Ari's own Airbnb nightmare right here in this Chelsea building, he's become an expert on the subject. Either you're just going to wallow and suffer, or you're going to see, well, what can we do uh, to turn this into a positive? It was a story so outrageous, it was almost unbelievable. Well, uh, I had an incident <laughs> yeah. uh, from uh, putting my apartment on Airbnb, which you guys covered. So they were on your bed? We believe so, because the bed was moist. Two years ago, Ari Tiemann rented his Chelsea apartment on Airbnb. Instead of a couple staying there, his place was trashed after an advertised Freak fest orgy. Tiemann was evicted and his misfortune still wasn't over. I ended up on this housing court blacklist. Through the ordeal, Tiemann found inspiration and a business plan. He's now the founder of Sublet Spot, a website that helps landlords figure out if their tenants are illegally subletting their apartments. The site launched today. It's a bunch of like ex Israeli spies and engineers coding this thing. Subscribers send a list of addresses they want monitored. The program then analyzes posts on apartment sharing sites like Airbnb and Craigslist. And we're able to identify her apartment because she's posted these photos. Okay. And our computers can see that there are windows and it looks through the windows and it recognizes that building. Oh, wow. And then it knows where you were standing when you took the photo. And it's not just for landlords. Some of Sublet Spy's customers are tenants fed up with strangers treating their building like it's a hotel. What would you say to people who might argue, hey, some guy is, you know, subletting his apartment to get a little bit of extra cash, even if it's not legal, you're kind of busting him a little bit, aren't you? Look, uh, you know, you could say that about hard drugs. You could say that about a lot of activity. But this particular activity, when you put uh, an apartment into the illegal hotel market, you've taken it away from a family that could live there, you're taking it away from a young professional that needs to live in the city and work at their first job. Uh, as somebody has once pointed out in New York, the rent is too damn high. Airbnb did not respond to our request for an email comment, but on the site they do advise their hosts first check their local laws and their leases before signing up. Reporting live from the Chelsea section of Manhattan, Ayanna Harry.